Hi, it's Chris from Quail. Today I'm going to talk to you about our new inventory tracking tool. Um, as I do this, I'm going to walk through our main uh, website, uh, sandpiperhq.com, and kind of show you what it can do. And then later we're going to get into creating your account. So first off, what is Sandpiper? Sandpiper was made to replace that notebook or uh, notepad that you may have to keep track of all your inventory when selling in an antique store or vendor mall. Oftentimes we'll walk around and see vendors uh, trying to keep track of their items, the date they acquired them, their costs, and then ultimately what they sold and how much they made on those items. Uh, so what we've done is we've modernized it. We've created a tool that lets you import your inventory and then reconcile that to see your fees, your sales, your profitability, profit margin, all in one easy to use place. It will let you track uh, everything about that particular item, a description, item number, when you acquired it, the cost, Additional expenses, say you have to uh, reupholster a chair, you can add that additional expense onto your purchase cost so at the end of the month or term or whenever it's sold, you're able to see what your overall uh, profitability is on that item with those additional expenses. We let you import your existing inventory uh, if you keep it Currently, in maybe an Excel spreadsheet, we can import that into our system. Obviously, Sandpiper comes from uh, the guys who created Quail, so naturally, we integrate with Quail. When something is sold in Quail, if your store happens to use Quail point of sale, it will automatically pull that sold price into Sandpiper. You know, eliminating the uh, necessary work to reconcile our books at the end of the month or go find what is sold or mark that sold price into your uh, notebook. We do all that for you. And then, of course, you can uh, add multiple people to help manage that inventory. If you buy with a friend and sell with a friend, you can have multiple email addresses uh, to help manage uh, your inventory and look at your overall profitability of your joint business, so to speak. So next we're going to jump into uh, creating your account and linking that with Quail. So let's go ahead and get started with Sandpiper and create an account. You'll want to go to sandpiperhq.com or you may have been directed here with a link from Quail. Um, you want to scroll down just a hair and click the get started button. And we want to create a new account. So if you are not selling with Quail or your store does not sell with Quail, you can enter any email that you use. If you are associated with a store that uses Quail's point of sale for antique and vendor malls, you'll want to use the same email that's associated with your vendor account. So I'm going to go ahead and use my test account here. This is the email that's already set up as a vendor with my uh, test store in Quail. And then we'll just name our account. So this is uh, Chris's Sandpiper Demo. And then everyone gets a 30 day free trial, no credit card required. Um, after 30 days, uh, Sandpiper is $6 a month or $60 a year. So now that we've got all this entered, we'll go ahead and create our account. Great. So we are officially into our Sandpiper account. We'll go ahead and dismiss this. We don't have our uh, card set up. That's why we're getting this alert, but we can go ahead and dismiss that for now. First thing we'll want to do if you're using this in conjunction with uh, a Quail account associated with the store is we'll want to link your store account to your Sandpiper account. So we'll head on up here to stores and links. And you'll notice that uh, we don't have any already linked. You want to click link with Quail 
and it will send you an email to uh, the email on file. We'll go over and check that real quick. And here we are in my email. You can see that I uh, received um, my email to connect the accounts and there'll be a button to connect Quail and Sandpiper. Simply click that button. We'll go through the linking process. Now that we've linked your Quail account with your Sandpiper account, let's add some inventory items. Simply head to items on the main menu if you're not already there and down to add inventory item. Now we're gonna do um, inventory items one at a time for this video. We'll do a separate video where we'll bulk import from an Excel sheet or a Google sheet multiple items. But for the sake of this video, one at a time. So we'll add inventory item. Inventory item number, we'll just uh, add one each time. So uh, for example, we're on four, next will be five, six, seven, uh, and so on. Or you can uh, manually enter this, for example, item number 100. A short description, uh, a blue dresser. You can backdate when you acquired it, or it'll pick today's date. We'll backdate this uh, week for the sake of the video. Uh, purchase cost, say we bought it for $100 and we only bought one. We'll go ahead and add the item. So here you see we have our inventory item number that we assigned 100 description date acquired now each time you add or sell an item the totals will need to be recalculated simply head up here and click this area you can see now we have one item all are unsold our total cost expenditures and so on now if we were to add additional costs like expenses if we needed to refinish the top. You can click expenses and say top refinishing for say we were charged $25. $25 with a short description and record that expense. And here we can see our total expenses for this item top refinishing 25. And you can do this for a few others if you had to buy maybe new knobs for five dollars and you would record that expense and if we're done you just go ahead and simply click done so you can see those two expenses add up to thirty dollars so our total cost this item is hundred thirty dollars and we can recalculate these totals and see that our total cost 130 total expense is $30. Let's go ahead and add two more quick items. And then let's say we bought two of some item. Uh, for $25, we bought two chairs. And notice we selected two. Since we did use the same inventory item as created to, so we'll be able to sell that item number more than once in Quail and it will associate with these items. And you can see two green chairs, both for $25. And once we recalculate our totals, we'll see our total costs, total expenses, unsold inventory, etc. Uh, notice we haven't sold anything, so those are zeros, our margin's zero, everything is unsold. So what we'll do now is I will I'll leave you for a quick second. I'm going to go sell a few items in our Quail account uh, as a store and then come back and we will show you what Sandpiper looks like when those items have been sold. So I've gone ahead and sold a few items in our Quail store account and now back as a vendor, if you're to log in to your Sandpiper account, you'll see that the items we sold and matched are now fulfilled. So we sold the blue dresser and the red table, and you'll see that that information is now populated. The store you sold it in, if you're associated with more than one store, it'll show the store here, the booth you sold it in, and the price that you sold it for. And the fee populates, that is the fee that the store takes for their uh, 
consignment rate. And all this is done automatically, all based on the inventory number. So as long as that store enters the correct inventory number, Quail will send that information to Sandpiper and it'll autofill for you. Now you can see up top in the summary that we have our gross sales, consignment fees, and profit showing a 28% margin on the sold items. So now you can quantify what items are selling, how much you make on each item, if that item maybe was profitable or not profitable, etc. Um, what I'm going to do now is head back over to Quail, sell an item with an incorrect inventory number to show you what you can do in Sandpiper to match that with one of your inventory items. Now I went ahead and sold a few items in Quail that were either uh, not in our Sandpiper account or were maybe in our Sandpiper account but the store incorrectly entered maybe the inventory number. So when you come into Quail you'll see you have this box here, a few items to review. And what you'll want to do is go ahead and go over here to the right hand side, review those items. And these are the items that are not matched between Quail and Sandpiper. You'll notice green chairs is one of them and our inventory number when we entered it in the Sandpiper was 102. The store entered it as 110. So there's a mismatch in those numbers. So we can go over to find an item in Sandpiper and we can just keyword search. So if I just type green, you notice there's two green chairs available and we'll just select the first one to match that item. And I sold both green chairs, so here's the other one. We'll uh, find it for the second green chair and we'll match it with that one. So now both of our green chairs are matched. Even though the store entered item number 110, we assigned them to item number 102. And then we've got an item that was sold, but we did not have this at all in our inventory. Uh, wrought iron bed frame, item number 222. So if it's not in Sandpaper at all, you can simply save new item and it will save all the information from Quail. So I'll go ahead and click that. And we'll complete a review. We can close that and it will go ahead and update. You'll notice the green chair has our sold price now, brings in our fees, and it is assigned to item 102. That item 110 is no longer because that was an incorrect number the store used. Now item 222, this bed frame up here, you'll notice the sales information is populated because we brought that in from Quail, but Sandpiper did not have this in inventory ready, so cost exp and expense are not entered. You can simply go back at a later time and look through your books or your receipts or your notes and know that maybe you bought this for $50. And you can update your totals, and it's all there. That's it for our walkthrough of Sandpiper and how it integrates with Quail and what we're doing to try to help you eliminate that, uh, that notebook that has all of that sales data or purchase data that you've been carrying around for years. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. You can reach us at support at quailhq.com. And again, this is for anyone who sells in an antique or vendor mall. You don't have to be in a store that currently sells in Quail. This will work for anyone who just wants to track their inventory, uh, costs, uh, sales, profits, etc. Again, reach out with any questions. Thanks for watching.